I decided that I wanted to improve my skills a little bit because I felt like I'd reached the top of what I could do and that's when I decided to do my MBA. I'm half Italian, half Australian, but I grew up in France. Um, that's one of the reasons why I actually wanted to move back to Australia to discover this country that I'd never really sort of lived in. So I decided to, to look for a world-class program in Australia and I found Melbourne Business School. It was a very intense year. It was um, just so much knowledge being uh, you know, fired away at us for 12 months, non-stop pretty much. But what I've been the most surprised with was the, the, the depth of knowledge that I got in the field that I already felt competent in. So operations, uh, process improvement and things like that. So I went into the MBA expecting that you know, I would sort of be able to coast through that stuff and really focus on the new things. But in fact, I've come out of that with a much, much deeper understanding of the field, more practical tools that I can apply every day in my, in my job. When I was 25, I, I gave myself these really naive goals. I said, I have a 10-year plan and a 20-year plan. My 10-year plan was to be a CEO of a hospital. And my 20-year plan was to be CEO of my hospital, sort of designed from scratch the way I sort of have it in my head, how, how things should be so that they're as efficient as possible. Um, a little bit behind schedule with my 10-year plan, but I think you know, the MBA has certainly helped nudge me along. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go for the 20-year plan.